time guys so today we're going to talk about some common myths around the paleo diet now, these are the kinds of things we see commonly especially when you're thinking about starting paleo or you're already on paleo these are the kind of questions that yeah. either you have or people at dinner parties are asking <laughs> so we're gonna try and bust a few myths uh, today yep Okay, so our first myth is that paleo is a high protein diet. Um, well, the thing is it can be if you want it to, yeah. but it's not necessarily. So we kind of embrace more of a moderate protein diet. Generally our plate would be mostly like vegetables, would be mm -hmm. at least half. Yeah. And then you have maybe a quarter is fats and then the other quarter, maybe the size of your palm is your protein. Yeah. I think it's kind of, yeah, like how they compare it to um, and like the Asian style of eating where you're eating a lot of vegetables and like a side dish of meat. So it's not like the main event on your plate. Yeah, Although and it's not all about bacon, bacon, bacon. bacon. <laughs> if you look at uh, like Instagrams for yeah. paleo, it's like a lot of bacon. And or, or a steak the size of my head. <laughs> yeah, it's not about that. No. I, I think it's mean. taking it too far. So it's definitely not necessarily how a paleo diet has to be. Yeah. And it's actually really hard, like especially like in Australia, to buy like an ethical uh, free-range bacon mm. or pork product. So yeah. it's definitely not so a bacon, part of our yeah, diet. I don't eat bacon hardly at all, no. so don't get freaked out by the bacon thing. Okay, so the second myth is that paleo is low carb. Mm. Now I can understand why. People yeah. believe that it's a low carb diet because a lot of the leaders in the paleo sphere are advocating low carb and that's because they're often uh, promoting kind of weight loss solutions mm. which is which is fair, fair enough yeah. if um, you've got insulin problems and metabolic damage but um, for yeah. most people it's, it's fine yeah, to eat it's not some necessarily <laughs> low carb yeah like of course because you're not eating bread you're not eating pasta like those are the carb sources mm. that you'd ordinarily be eating for like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. You don't have them anymore, so you know, you, you can have sweet potato, potato. Overall it's probably going to be lower carb than like a standard Western diet, but yeah. um, it doesn't have to be low carb. No. And you're still eating. You just have to put the effort in yeah. to cook a potato. <laughs> Or um, a lot of people like plantains. You can have seasonal fruit as an easy way to get more carbs. Yeah. And different people suit different things. So it's, you know, if you have maybe yeah. adrenal problems, like sometimes if I'm getting burned out, uh, I just know that I have to have some carbohydrate at lunch and dinner. So it's definitely like not specifically low carb. Mm. Okay, so our third myth, and you're going to get this one probably a lot, is that paleo is restrictive and boring. <laughs> or a fad diet. Yeah. I mean, at first, it can be feeling restrictive because you're really addicted to you're bread. You're addicted to bread and, yeah, all those things are, like, staple in your diet. Like, yeah. um, And it can feel socially restrictive because you go to parties and all people want to eat is junk or, like, things that are wheat-based products. Yeah. I don't feel... But no, the paleo after... diet is restrictive. Like once your palate has readjusted to natural food, yeah, you everything tastes a lot better, and you're using fat all the time. You know, growing up, yeah, it was, was like the low fat <laughs> phase, so everything tasted like extruded and like cardboardy, not real. <laughs> Just all the fun and like creaminess and yeah. flavors taken out. Yeah. yeah. On a paleo diet, you can cook with. Um, ghee or with butter if you yeah um, avocados plenty of avocados you don't have to cut the fat off of your meat anymore yeah <laughs> so everything tastes really good you're not just like, eating chicken breast like. yeah, I don't feel like I'm restricted no and I think like for the with the bread thing like after a while you just forget about it yeah you know like So another big myth is, you know, without your healthy whole grains, where will you get your vitamins? Where will you get B vitamins and the other yeah. things that we feel we're missing yeah. from eating bread? I think that's the thing though, these companies kind of um, 
do all this advertising and we all think that there's something inside of grains that we need. need. But um, I guess the truth, the truth is, though, that it's a pretty nutrient poor yeah, food. Yeah, it's, it's not a nutrient dense food. And, uh, you know, your whole grains have got a lot of phytate uh, stopping the nutrient absorption in the, mm. in the grain and with whatever you're... And I don't think we're that crazy yeah, about phytates it. either. Like, some people make the argument that there's a lot of phytates in nuts as well. Um, but I think it's the sheer fact that grains are like a staple in our diet. Like, you're eating grains for breakfast. Yeah. Grains is a snack. You know, grains, grains are lunch. lunch. Yeah, you have cereal it's breakfast. Like... You have crackers. You have your sandwich. Yeah. You have your pasta for dinner. Like, every meal, you're getting your hit. Yeah. And it's not good for blood sugar as well, when you yeah. think. Uh, you know, they say it's complex carbohydrates to have your whole grains, but it's basically sugar the moment that it yeah. touches your mouth. You're just stuck on this roller coaster all day, and, and then you wonder why you're tired. Yeah, big vitamins. Well, if you're eating a diet that's a lot of vegetables and leafy greens, like, you're going to yeah. be getting your vitamins anyway. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to worry about things like B12 when you're eating like eggs and good quality um, protein. Uh, the other point around your there's healthy so whole many. grains is there's so many um, uh, is the gluten. Yeah. So I think um, what do they say? Gluten's like an opioid in the brain. Like it attaches to those receptors, so it makes it like addictive. Mm. It contributes to like gut leaky, issues leaky and gut. leaky gut. So I think we can do away with the grains. It's not we're not missing anything. Yeah. Okay. So now we've covered some of the common paleo myths. Um, we're just gonna leave some of the links below. Um, some of the people that we follow and some information that could be helpful. It's good to do your own research and not just take our word for it. Uh, but if you have questions or comments, leave them below for us uh, and thumbs up the video if you liked it.